All right, I made a little game in JavaScript. It's a little snake game from DOS. So let's demonstrate your green dots. If you run over them, you grow. The green dots will spoil so their food and they'll spoil and turn yellow, as you can see over there. And if you uh, eat a green dot, your snake will grow. If you eat a yellow dot, your snake will shrink. If I can get there soon enough, I'll grab one. Oh, and if you hit a red one, you will die. Also, if you go off the screen, you will die as well. If you run into yourself, you will die. I'll demonstrate that. Oh, there's a yellow one, so if we can grab it. There, so I shrank when I got that one, and if I run into myself, oh, you die. So this video is about making that snake game. Now, I have already made the game, and I'm going to attempt, so here's all the code, I'm going to attempt to remake the game uh, one step at a time so that you can see how it was made. A little disclaimer, I am a professional software developer, but I do not use JavaScript, and I'm not a game developer, so I just hack this together, and um, you can see what you get um, if you just hack things together. So the first thing we're going to need, I'm going to open up Vim. Uh, we're going to need uh, an HTML page. So I'm just going to copy, well, actually, let's just type it out. So this, you'll have to bear with me. I need an HTML set of tags, and inside that, we're going to need a script. So let's put in the head tag. Let's put a script. That's going to be script source. Now, don't be impressed that I'm just figuring this out as I go, because I'm not. I'm copying off another screen, as you can see, with my eyes. So don't be impressed and think that. I'm some kind of genius or something. And we're going to need a body. The thing is, I don't want to give away all the code yet. And I want to um, sort of piece this together as we go. So I have my web page. I'm going to save that. <clears throat> see where we are. I need to go into dev uh, snake game. I called this snake game recorded because I have another copy that is snake game. Uh, and we're going to save this as uh, snake.html. And I'm going to hit Control G, see where this is. Okay, so we have our, our snake HTML. So let's go to our back to our browser. Let's do another tab. And we'll go to uh, File, Users, Seedwire, Dev, Snake, Game, Recorded, Recorded. And snake.html. Okay, so you can see that we have a uh, empty browser page. And if we open up our browser, we can see that we have that page that we just made and there's nothing in it. So if we want to do some animation like we have here, this is going to be, this is not made of HTML elements, although you could make it <clears throat> from divs. I made it from uh, using a, a canvas and some JavaScript. So let's add a canvas. All right, so we're gonna need to put in a canvas tag and we're gonna give an ID because we wanna to refer to it in our JavaScript code. And I'm just gonna call it canvas one. And we're gonna set a width. Um, width is 500 and height equals 500. These are attributes inside the canvas tag. And uh, in my other code, I have a border, but I don't think I need it. So let's do that. Close off the canvas tag and save that. And now if we go back to our web browser, we don't see anything, but if we go to our tools, we can see that we now have a canvas and it highlights it for us on this other side here. All right. Now, we want to draw on the canvas. Now, normally, games have a game loop where they do the logic of the game and then they do the drawing of the game. So we're going to need to have a loop. And for that, we're going to need some JavaScript. 
So let's flip over here and we'll create some JavaScript. First, let's just save this as, let's make sure we're in the right directory. Snake recorded, we'll save this as snake.js. All right, so uh, let's just, um, as when we load this up, let's just, uh, as, soon as, we, as soon as we load this page, as soon as snake.js gets loaded, um, it will fire off this script if we don't put anything in a function and tell it when to run the function. So let's just try that. So let's do, um, let's see, I'm just gonna flip over to my other code here and see how I get started. So what I do is I use um, tick start. Oh, I use set interval. So in Java, you can call, or in JavaScript, you can call set interval. You can tell it what function you want to call. So let's just say, um, let's just call it a function hello. And then we can say how many milliseconds we want it to uh, call uh, the interval uh, um, between calls to whatever the function we specify. So this is gonna call hello every 1000 milliseconds. And there's 1000 milliseconds in a second. So let's create a function called hello, and we will do a console.log hello. Save that, we'll flip back here, we'll reload. Actually, let's start up our, I should really figure out how to do this developer tools. That looks like option, command, um, I or pipe. Let's try that. Option, command, shift, pipe, or I, I, there we go. So if we look at the console, where console logging will happen, uh, it says file not found. And uh, so let's go back here. And we have snake.js. So we have that. And then we can go back to where we were. If we go to snake HTML, we get hello. And you can see this is going to repeat it, but every second we get another hello call. So that I'm going to cut it off there. That's probably pretty good for our first video. And that is how you create a web page, add some JavaScript to it and a canvas. And then in the next video, I'll show how we get started drawing stuff.